Hi friends, welcome. Today I want to talk about how to prepare for chemistry. Friends, I have not been very good at chemistry. I always thought that chemistry was about rectifying. I could never visualize what was happening between molecules and how you know various elements were interacting or compounds were interacting and how the reactions were happening. Why were the reactions happening? Chemical equilibrium, etc. So I always thought it was more about rectifying things than logical, you know, things. So that's why I always found it hard. But uh, in the hindsight, I feel that I never got a good teacher of chemistry, and I never got good sources to study for chemistry. Otherwise, chemistry is so so damn interesting. I tell you. could be more interesting than any other subject that you study while you are in 12th and i can bet on that if you if you get the right teachers or if you get the right material so i'm going to tell you about the right material here because i have myself you know struggled in chemistry in my first and second attempt at j never knew how to prepare for chemistry and always struggled and you know what chemistry is one of the most important topic because it is very very scoring and it is very very time uh, less time consuming in terms of you know attempting in the paper otherwise chemistry has a lot of syllabus that's for sure but when you attempt it in the entrance exams you take you know if there's a 3 hour exam you will try to finish off chemistry in half an hour or maximum by 40 minutes so it is very very you know scoring it takes less time to get that much score but preparation takes a lot of time right so it's a interesting kind of a combination in terms of preparation so i was actually you know uh, trying to make some videos for this particular channel on chemistry some basics and i was you know browsing through some youtube videos to find out some great videos so that i can you know take help from those and make videos for you and i came across this channel called khan academy and i'm sure you are aware of it uh, it's a very very famous channel very old channel and people feel that you know he teaches on board and some of the j aspirants no longer you know try to visit that channel because they feel they, it's very basic but it's it's just very very interesting if you if you watch those videos even though it is very very basic it really clarifies your concept and it you know ignites uh, that interest in chemistry which most students may not have because once you have seen his channel his videos you will start to visualize what is happening in chemistry you will get to know how you know various com- compounds are interacting how reactions are happening etc you will start to see those electron orbitals and then you will start to love chemistry a lot more so my sequence now if i have to recommend i wish i had those videos i had seen those videos or those videos were available when i was preparing for j but that was not the case it's surely available to you so you can make use of it if i have to you know give you a sequence as to how to you know go step by step in chemistry i would say step 1 is you know watch khan academy videos for any any uh, topic that you're doing okay let's you have it could be physical chemistry organic inorganic whatever topic you want to do pick up that topic do that topic from uh, you know try to watch khan academy videos on that particular topic almost all you know topics will have some kind of basic video on khan academy if there are no videos then it's hard luck but i feel that almost all topics are there you watch that basic video second step is when you watch it and second step is automatic the interest will get ignited for sure in your brain once that is done now you go to chemistry uh, ncert book now what will happen is that you will everything that you will find in ncert is going to be you know more like facts there would not be a lot of logic in there but you just go through those facts and rectify them that's okay just do it okay and also the questions of that particular topic once you have done that you have you know form a 
very strong foundation because your concepts are strong missing facts are also strong now that foundation is built right and interest is built now you go to some advanced books for organic chemistry go to ms johan for inorganic chemistry go to rc mukherjee uh, sorry for in our organic chemistry you can you know stick to uh, ncert or do op tandon and some you know mcqs from your coaching class if you have any coaching material for physical chemistry you should go to rc mukherjee and you can find you know in the description all these books we also have uh, you know on our website we have a lot of practice material that you can do we have 30 important questions of each each topic that will help you revise that topic quickly and we also have mock tests so you can check that out also there are some free tests as well so this is the sequence you should follow step 1 khana academy videos step 2 ignite passion step 3 ncert just mug it up step 4 go to advanced books for organic ms johan for inorganic stick to ncert that's it and for uh, physical go to rc mukherjee mind you if you are doing rc mukherjee initially it could be very very intimidating very very you know you may find it difficult because it's a lot of maths also involved in there but you need to stick with it okay more you do it some people have inclination towards chemistry they will start liking it immediately they will you know immediately fall in love with rc mukherjee and you know be able to do all the questions people who find chemistry hard will not be able to relate it very well and uh, they will have to stick with it and practice more and more of uh, that particular book to you know be able to do well and then it's all about you know doing as many mcqs as you can uh, for uh, organic because there's uh, certainly a lot of facts based fact based things that you may not find in any books and they just you know come somehow some from somewhere in the questions so that's about you know that's how you should prepare for chemistry and uh, i hope uh, uh, you will start liking chemistry if you follow th- these steps all the best for your preparation do write any questions if you have in the comments and please stay subscribed thanks a lot all the best